I'm here at the opening, finally, of Colossus Bakery and Cafe, my friend Kristen's bakery here in San Pedro, California. I'm so excited for this. I've been waiting for over a year. I was actually Kristen's first employee. I did a little bit of pastry work with her when she was working in Long Beach and selling at farmer's markets and coffee shops. But now she finally has her own space. It's beautiful. I'm so excited. You got to check out her breads and pastries and coffee if you're ever in the San Pedro, LA area. I'm Kristen Colossus Rodriguez, owner of Colossus Bakery and Cafe, and we just opened up our shop in San Pedro, California. I have a bachelor's degree. I graduated with an econ and history degree with a minor in Middle Eastern studies, and then decided to kind of pivot out of the nonprofit sector into baking and just started knocking on doors and asking to work wherever I could and ended up at uh, doing pastry over at Moza in LA, Osteria Moza, and then Detoured, went to do bread in San Francisco and worked at a bunch of different commercial bakeries, Michelin star restaurants, um, worked my way up to pastry chef before finding my way back home and opening Colossus Bakery. My husband, Nick, is a big part of the business. Um, he's my partner in life and in the business. Um, and he's managing the whole coffee program. So we are using Heart Coffee Roasters and he's seeing that program through, you know, training and selection of coffees and, you know, quality control on the other side as well. Our bread is really natural artisan bread. It's, I like to say it's made the old-fashioned way, so we don't add anything to it. We use a lot of really good grain. Um, local grain from Tehachapi, which is you know just a couple hours north of us, um, but we, and we mill that in-house, but we also use grain and flours from Oregon um, and from Central Milling as well. We use a lot of really great flours. We naturally ferment them with you know just flour, water, and salt, that's it, and a little bit of sourdough starter. and. Uh, it's fermented overnight and gets a nice long ferment. So we make a lot of pastries at Colossus Bread. Um, our pastries are all pretty classic in technique. They're croissants and variations on croissants, but I like to use the croissant as a vehicle for different flavors and layers of texture and flavor. So we use a lot of fresh fruit from the market. We infuse our pastry creams with herbs that I grow in my garden um, and lots of vegetables from my garden as well. It's all a little, has a little nice twist on it. We couldn't resist trying one of everything, so that's what we did. Starting with the Queen Amon. This is croissant dough with extra butter, extra sugar, rolled up like a little envelope. One of my favorites. The traditional croissants. Look at those layers. So much butter. This is a T-Burk, which is a Scandinavian croissant with uh, poppy seed. It smells good. I haven't tried this one yet. Oof. Giant cinnamon bun with cream cheese frosting. More savory, we have a oozing ham and cheese croissant covered with everything bagel toppings. There's pumpkin seeds, poppy seeds, sesame, applewood smoked ham, and Asiago cheese. Another savory is this zucchini blossom tomato swirl, which 
cheese inside. Seasonal fruit danish. This one has stone fruit and lemon verbena pastry cream. Oh yeah. Last but not least, we have our almond bow stock, which is like brioche French toast with almonds and then fruit and almonds on top. There's like an almond cream. Mm, this one is so good. <laughs> mm. This queen is the freaking best. It's so good. It's oozing butter. Mm. Mm -hmm. 